VHS or video home system just has to find its place on the Gadget Show Wall of Fame because it was revolutionary. Not only because it was the first format to bring home video recording to many of us, but the VHS is the gadget world's toughest street fighter. It won the most intense format war in gadget history. JVC launched VHS in 1976, a year after Sony had launched their Betamax home video cassette system. And to begin with, it didn't look good for VHS. Betamax was better quality and already had pretty much 100% share of the fledgling market. So, how could VHS get the upper hand? The very earliest Betamax tapes could only record one hour of footage, whereas the larger VHS tapes held two hours, enough to record a movie. VHS tapes were also cheaper. They were better marketed and, crucially, you could easily rent a VHS machine. In the UK, it's thought that around 70% of machines in homes were rented. By 1981, VHS had won about 75% share of the market and the format war was over. These tapes changed the way that we thought about home entertainment. For the first time, we could time shift our TV watching. We could own our own favourite movies and we could make our own home movies and watch them back straight away. This was the first VHS camcorder, the GRC1. You might recognise it from Back to the Future. It looks pretty big now, but VHS, it changed our lives. And for that reason alone, it should be on the Gadget Show Wall of Fame. What Susie's forgetting is that the quality of VHS was rubbish. The tapes would get chewed up, they'd jam in your machine, and if you had a collection of VHS tapes, you'd have to rent a storage depot to keep the enormous things in. As soon as a choice came along, DVD, we dropped VHS like the brick that it is. The DVD format was the spearhead of the digital revolution due to groundbreaking cooperation across the whole technology industry. There were, in fact, two separate digital formats being developed, and it looked like another format war was on the horizon. Then the big computer companies got involved, Microsoft, Apple and Dell, and they said they wouldn't put up with the whole shebang. One universal format had to be chosen. The DVD was the digital format of choice. The first DVD movie was Twister in 1996, and this was the first DVD player to be sold in the UK, the Panasonic A100. It cost £400, but was still a bestseller. By 2001, DVD ruled the world, with sales worth tens of billions of pounds. And the ways DVD can be used is incredible. It can store any and all digital information, from music and movies to photos and computer games. The DVD is a simple but effective, groundbreaking bit of tech that fully deserves its place on the wall of fame. If nothing else, it'll keep the birds away. Absolutely fascinating. Both impressive cases. But I've got a couple of questions for you both. Now, Susie, VHS picture quality is absolutely terrible. Weren't we just sort of holding on, waiting for something better to come along? With VHS, we were just grateful that we could record programmes off the telly yeah. and watch them when we wanted to watch them. And it just yes. changed our yeah. lives. That's why it should be on the Wall of Fame. Now, Jason, DVDs, a nightmare of incompatibility with all these different standards and formats, particularly with things you record yourself. What do you say to that? Oh, come on. Inexpensive, incredible quality gave birth to the, the modern video game with all of its complexity and huge Size, mm, really yes, small yes, yes, yes. and inexpensive to make mm. and, and very versatile and that's why I think it deserves to be on the wall. This is a very difficult decision. I mean, they're both important products. I can see the picture quality of the VHS, maybe the let down. I can see the popularity of the DVD, but ooh, what's it going to be? I think it's going to be Susie's oh, yeah. VHS because it liberated more people for the first time from the TV show yeah. than anything else. And also, it was the first thing to bring Hollywood movies into your home when you wanted to watch them. And I think, for those reasons, the VHS deserves its place on the Gadget Show's Absolutely. Wall of Fame. Mwah.